All right, hey everyone, Florence and Joel here. Welcome to BZB TV. Today we're doing something really new, which is bringing you some of the latest buzz in technology, things that have been going on this week in the industry, and also talking about some of those cool gadgets that you can get your hands on. And later on, at the end of the uh, towards the end of the segment, we'll also introduce a product that we're going to overview from our trusted partners. Yeah. So, being Super Bowl week. We just had to come to Minnesota U.S. Bank Stadium and do today's segment there live. You know, I mean, what a beautiful stadium, huh? Hey, uh, do we even have clearance to be here? I thought you got. Then you get clearance. I spoke to Clarence, but oh, I yeah. didn't clearance. <laughs> I guess we do not. So we gotta get through this episode quick before the security comes around. All right, let's wrap it up. <laughs> All we'll right. wrap this up. So Super Bowl being the largest sporting event in America for the year, there is so much technology that actually goes to make this event happen, you know, behind the scenes, on and off the field. For instance, during the game broadcast, they'll be filming a, over 200 hours worth of coverage using 106 cameras, 76 of those dedicated to, you know, the gameplay coverage. That's a lot. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, that includes two Skycam cameras, uh, s seven 4K UHD cameras, as well as 20 uh, embedded in the pylons uh, in the end zone, you know, by the touchdown. So any of those close call <laughs> goal line, uh, you know, plays will certainly get will certainly get a good view of. You know, all those close calls are going to go towards the Patriots, right? Yeah, perhaps, but. <laughs> well, you know what? I do like it when they. Those football players do some exciting athletic maneuvers, tumbles, you know, some one-handed catches mm -hmm. right there by the pylon. Yes. Maybe some toe drag swag. You think we'll see a toe drag swag play by Tom Brady? Um, he probably doesn't want to mess up that cut in his hand. Oh. So, or, you know, his hair. He doesn't want to mess up his hair. Oh, so he'll probably dump it off to his running back, maybe Gronk, you know. Let Gronk do all the partying on the end zone, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, yes. Oh, man. Um, We'll see a whole, I'm, I'm sure we'll see a whole lot of Gronk this weekend. Um, and, I mean, along with the cameras, you know, they got to have mics for audio. Over 130 microphones will be used to catch the in-game sounds, as well as over 50 miles of cable. Not feet, miles. Miles. Yes. Just to capture sound? Mm hmm So you will be listening to Tom Brady and the rest talk about, hey... What are we partying afterwards? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, Somewhere. you know what? Nothing against the Pats. Do their thing. <laughs> if they win, they win. But, you know, if the Eagles win, that'd be something new to see. But everyone see, has seen Brady get his rings already. <laughs> we'll see, though, huh? Yes. Um, along with uh, the game broadcast, you got to have instant replay. Intel yeah. is actually implementing their free D technology or true view. They'll be using between 30 and 50 high-end 5K cameras mm. uh, and format that footage into 3D replays. So that should be exciting to see, uh, you know, during the game. Yeah, I'm sure the Eagles are going to need to watch some of those replays. <laughs> you know, they're going to need that on their side, definitely, because I swear the refs see some weird things sometimes. Shoot. But you guys should ask Alexa who's going to win the Super Bowl. You might find it interesting who she says. Uh -huh. I'll, I think I'm going to ask Alexa when I do get home. Alexa, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The team favored to win is the... Is the... Excuse me. Is the Patriots. <clears throat> that was tough to get out. But I'm flying with the Eagles on this one because of their relentless defense and the momentum they've been riding off their underdog status. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Oh yeah, speaking of Intel, I don't know if you saw the Super Bowl a few years ago, I believe they did this amazing LED light show with drones. Okay. And actually they also did another show recently at CES yes. over the Bellagio, I think. Mm -hmm. Last month in Las Vegas. Yeah, so I think they're going to try to outdo themselves at the Super Bowl. We'll see. Um, it looks fantastic. I saw some, some, I didn't see it live, but I saw a YouTube video and it looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty magical, huh? Yeah, and since we're talking about drones right now, I don't know if any of you own a DJI drone, but they recently released a brand new drone called the Mavic Air. So it's been buzzing lately. A lot of people are buzzing about this new drone because it costs less than the DJI Mavic Pro. 
this new drone that they're coming out with is going to be around $800. It's going to have 4K capability. And the great thing is if you suck at flying drones, this thing has seven sensors on it, seven obstacle avoiding sensors. So, you know, you could suck, you could be a beginner and still fly this thing and possibly not crash. And one last little tidbit about the Super Bowl is, uh, you know, say you're not into the game, but you still want to enjoy the entertainment, mm -hmm. be part of uh, social events going on during the Super Bowl. Mercedes actually has a contest called Last Fan Standing. And you have a chance to win, um, and you have a chance to win a Mercedes Coupe. All you're gonna have to do, and all you need is a phone and your finger. And you place your finger on the phone and don't let go for the whole game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Basically, you're gonna have to follow on your phone with your finger a virtual Mercedes car driving around, you know, uh, on your screen. And you have to follow it and, and never let go. Well, you know what? That should be easy for a lot of people because, it's, first of all, people are on their phones 24-7 these days, mm -hmm. fiddling, playing mm -hmm. games, just like this all day. Yeah, but yeah. you can't take your finger off ever. Oh, so I just lost. Yeah, you just lost if you uh, took your finger off, yes. What if I have to go to the toilet? Well, I think you might need assistance then. <laughs> you need for a Mercedes Coupe, you know yes. what? Is it, worth, is it worth it? I mean, you might lose a finger from keeping your hand, your finger on the phone so long, but wouldn't you want to lose? Wouldn't you lose a finger for a free car? For a chance to win a free car, <laughs> I'm gonna be going against millions of other people. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just count myself out of this contest. That way, you viewers out there have a better chance of winning. Your odds have just improved. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's exciting. I mean, it'd be nice to have a car like that, but. I think I'd rather drive my Prius. It's got some great technology in it. Gas saving technology, huh? Yeah, that's my kind of technology. Also, uh, you know what else we have going on? Uh, I don't know if any of you attended CES or went to the show, but it seemed like Google took over that show. They're mm -hmm. really making a push for their digital assistant, oh. yes, which is uh, called Google Assistant. Google Assistant, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what happened to Alexa? I mean, Alexa was very present the previous year, but they not were, this they, year. Last year. Uh, they were there this year as well, but, you know, Google made a very aggressive uh, push to Yeah, they just blanketed, market. It, oh, yes. blanketed the entire space with ads, giant gumball machines. I heard <laughs> they had the insane booth where you can go down a slide, and oh. it was outdoors, and they even had, like, like a train or one of those public transportation that said hey Google so yeah way to go Google hey Google hey Google you did a great job <laughs> marketing and advertising to everyone at CES however look out Alexa and Google assistant because there's also the Apple HomePod oh. right yes I believe so um, I think it's uh, ready for pre-orders right now yeah you it can is get it uh, February 9th I believe that's right um, but, you know, them being late to the party, you'd expect them to have something, um, you know, new or different, uh, you know, over uh, Alex, the other digital assistants. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that's the case, at least not right now. Um, so I think the only advantage they have is uh, for all Apple iOS users, you can easily integrate that now with your phones and, um, you know, with all your Siri enabled stuff. So, mm. Should um, I trade in my Alexa for a HomePod since I'm an Apple user? You got our Macs right here. I got an Apple iPhone. I got an iPad. Uh, maybe maybe ask Alexa what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask her when I get home. <laughs> oh, so we're heading towards the end of our segment. And as we mentioned earlier, we'll be unveiling a brand new product from one of our partner vendors. And today, we're going to be showing you guys an amazing product from Alona. Oh. Let's see what's inside. So what we have here is an amazing unit from Atlona Technologies. These guys have been providing connectivity solutions for many years now. And we've got our transmitter and receiver. So this is an HDMI extender kit. As you can see, there is an Ethernet port in the back. And what's great about this unit, it's not just your normal HDMI extender. This unit right here supports 4K and HDR transmission at 60 Hertz with 444 chroma sampling. 
This unit is also HDCP 2.2 compliant, and it looks like you can extend an HDR signal up to 70 meters or 230 feet. Thanks for that. I couldn't calculate that in my head. So, I mean, if your application truly needs the highest quality video, uh, say 4K HDR, this unit is for you. It supports transmissions of up to 18 Gbps, which is a significant challenge when extending signals over HD base T. That's right. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we will demo this wonderful product from Atlona in another episode. Also, please like the video. And is there anything else we missed? No, um, I think security is about to come and kick us out. Is that Clarence? Yeah, Clarence is coming. So <laughs> Looking like a lineman ready to sack Tom Brady. <laughs> All right, so enjoy the Super Bowl this weekend, guys. We'll see you guys next week. All right, see ya.